What you cooking today, Miss Martha? I'm making pecan pie tartlets. Some people say pecan, some people say pecan. I've mixed them up and used both things, but you know, my mama would cringe when you said pecan because she's old school from a farm and a pecan was something you kept under your bed so you didn't have to go all the way through the snow, you know, 500 yards out in the backyard and step over possums and whatnot to use the outhouse. That's a pecan. So these are supposed to be pecan pie tartlets. Uh, we're we're going to have to go ahead and make the dough up because that needs to go in the refrigerator for a few minutes. We need to get the pie filling on the stove top because that's got to cool down. So there's kind of multiple steps here, but the first thing that I'll do is I've got to remember to, I've got, well, now I've had these for 30, more than 30 plus years, these little individual things. And I got the newer ones a couple years ago. I'm hoping they're going to bake the same same consistency, browning on the bottom, but I'll have to watch that. That's up to me when I'm baking them. But these are going to be sprayed with individual spray, uh, non-stick spray, individually. Okay, so my pie tarts, and once they bake, they come out, you run a little knife around, and you pop them out and let them cool on paper towels. So that, that's prep work that has to be done. I've already put my dough ingredients in here. I've got pecan flour, regular plain flour, confectioner's sugar, whipped cream cheese, and blue bonnet margarine. That's all. That's the ingredients. No yeast, no eggs, nothing. That's that's all. That's gonna make my crust. I'm gonna mix that together by hand. I don't think everything is soft if I had it at room temperature, so I don't think I need the pastry cutter. We'll work on that by hand. I've got the ingredients already in my saucepan, but I haven't turned it on yet because you gotta watch that. I've got to move the camera over there and stay and keep an eye on that because I don't want that to burn, stick to the pan. But into the pie crust, you've got brown sugar, white sugar, corn syrup, salt, and blue bonnet margarine. That's going to cook until it all comes to a boil, and then we're going to remove it from the heat, and we're going to add in our eggs and our vanilla, and then we're going to add in our pecans, and if it's not thick enough, if I didn't boil it enough, if I wanted the consistency, it's got to be that I can turn my spoon upside down and doesn't run all off my spoon. I've got three tablespoons of flour over there to mix in when it's off the heat to get it to the consistency that I want so it would make pecan pie tartlets. When I get going here and get rocking and rolling, when I've made the dough up and I've let it cool for a few minutes, then I'm going to go over and I'm going to work on my pecan pie filling. Then when I come back over here, I'm going to take this and portion it out. I should get 48 tartlets. So I'll cut it in half. I'll cut it in half again and half again and so on and so on and so on like one of those little Fabergé hair commercials until I get 48 pieces and then we'll put each one in here, take a little thumbprint and press it down and then I'm going to bake them for mm, two minutes or so before I put my pie filling in because I don't want a soggy bottom. Okay, so let's see. Mm, what shall I do first? I think I'll start on the crust. Oh yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> Have a little extra flour over here in case it sticks to my hand, but you can see it's going to make a nice, it's coming together nicely. But I think I talked too much at the beginning, <laughs> at the beginning of the video today, so I'm going to pause it and we'll pick back up. Okay, dough came together nicely. We're going to put this in the refrigerator, and then I'll meet you over the stovetop to do the pie filling. This is real simple. I mean, I probably could have just let the camera roll, in, but, you know, my videos just drag on and on and on. And I apologize for that, but, you know, when you're in the kitchen the whole time, it's just, it's just, it is what it is. It takes time to make things with love, to make things taste good. Okay, let's work on the pie filling. Got my butter and my sugars and my corn syrup. A little dash of salt. As you can see, I've got to melt this down, bring it to a boil. Then I'll add in my pecans and my vanilla. And then it has to cool because if you put your eggs in it while it's still hot, you'll get scrambled eggs. It won't take long, but this isn't very, you know, uh, labor intensive that I have to sit here and show you. I'm just going to stir this till it comes to a boil. Okay, I almost have everything dissolved. There's still some little hunks of butter waiting for that to melt all the way. 
I'm going to let it boil for, when it comes to a boil, I'm going to let it boil for a good five minutes. I was just going to tell you that uh, uh, my pecans, because I'm doing the little tartlets, I had blitzed them in my kitchen aid just a little bit, just to get them to a, a finer chop. Because I don't want, I've got, I'm making small little bites here, and that way I'm going to get a better consistency of my filling to crust ratio. If I was going, you could use the same recipe, and you could make pecan pie, pecan, pecan pies out of it. You're just going to use a larger nine by nine inch Pyrex dish instead of using the little mini muffin tins over there to put your crust in. You could probably get, I'm guessing, three. Nine inch pies out of this. Let this two deep dish, three regular right, out of this recipe. Okay. We'll pick back up once it has boiled for five minutes. Okay, it's boiling. Five minutes on the timer. All right, that's my five minutes. Let's turn it off. Remove it from the burner. Looking pretty. Okay. Got my nuts to go in. And I'm going to need one teaspoon of vanilla. That's my vanilla. Stir that in. And let's add the nuts. So you can see. All right, now remember, you can't put the eggs in yet. It's gonna cool down. Don't put it back over there on the hot burner. Make sure you turn your stove off. So we're just incorporating everything right now. I'm going to meet you back over there. We're going to take the dough out of the refrigerator and we're going to roll it into balls and cut it into 48 portions and uh, make our little mini tart shells. My dough's nice and chill, but i got to fix the pans first. I should have done this before I start back up the video. I'll right. spray the pan. Okay, got a little plain flour so the dough doesn't stick off in the pan. I don't have a roll pin over here because I'm not trying to roll it out and make pie crust. going to divide it. Let's get all that up in there. That's good stuff. You could almost eat this rock. Good stuff. Just a couple of turns there, so I know it's all incorporated well. I'm gonna need me a knife. Get a big knife over here. There we go. Okay, we're gonna cut it in half. We make a ball. that one in half, nice flour a little bit, we make a ball, you get the point. Okay, I've still got more dough to cut into pieces, but it's a little bit larger than a whopper, smaller than a ping pong ball, almost like when we look at the Danish wet cookie recipe, it's a lot like that. You can take a little ball, put one in each section. Now you're gonna take your dough with your little index finger, you're gonna start flattening it down. Just flatten it down to the bottom first, then we're gonna kinda of make it cup up a little bit to make the sh make the uh, shell. Okay, it's not gonna come all the way up to the sides now. If you try to work so hard that you're stretching it all the way out to be that thin, you're gonna make it so thin on the bottom that it's gonna they're gonna stick and you're not gonna be able to get them out. 
So we're going to put these in and let these pre-bake for about two minutes. By that time, my pie filler should be cool enough that I could add the eggs to it. And then when we pull these out, we can go ahead and stuff these, put them into bake, and then have to bake for 20 minutes. Maybe less because they're, they're tiny little tarts. We're going to watch till we, they don't shake like that. Then we know they're ready. So I'm going to put these in the oven. Okay, instead of I move Muhammad to the mountain, mountain to Muhammad, however that saying goes, I'm going to go ahead and stir the, uh, it's cool enough. I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs in over here. Try to move the camera all the way over there. get the eggs in. I'll add that little bit of flour that I have over there, about three tablespoons of flour. And my pie filling, my tartlet filling will be ready. stirring that in then I'll add the flour and I'll set that back over out the way so I can put in the uh, a rack in because that tray's gonna be hot when it comes out the oven okay I can get about one tablespoon I'm guessing through stuffing all my little tartlets here with their pie filling then I'll put them in the oven to bake it says 20 minutes usually for pies but because I'm doing tartlets I'm gonna check it at eight minutes I'm gonna check it again at 12 minutes I'm gonna keep my eye on it and I'll see what my bake time is it might differ between this is a heavier pan and these pans so you know can't wander off you got to pay attention when you're cooking okay Tartlets ready, they're going in the oven. And while they're in the oven, I'll continue with the rolling of the crust, the tart shells, put those in the other little pans so they'll be ready to bake three minutes each, bring those back out, and then I'll fill those up with the pie filling, and then I'll bake those the appropriate amount of time that I've determined once these go in. So we'll pick back up in a little bit. Okay, that's 10 minutes on the bake. I'll take these out. I didn't get anywhere on rolling any because I had to put the clothes in the dryer, I had to take the dogs out, the mail came, Amazon packages came, you know, life. So I'll get back to rolling the others. Made a little progress, I'll be in here at this for a while. But here's your little pecan pie tartlet. See how it tastes. Mm mm mm. That's good stuff. I know it would be. I love pecan pie. Mm -mm. I'm just an old lady, it takes me a while to chew nuts. Well, let's see, my video is already over 10 minutes, and I got another 30 minutes worth of, of portioning out the crust, the tartlet crust, pre, pre baking that, filling it with the filling, then baking the pie. So I'm going to be in the kitchen another 35 minutes. I'm going to go ahead. We'll, You've seen what the tartlet's going to look like. I'll make my thumbnail be all the tartlets in their glory. If I can stop eating all of them. <laughs> I hope you'll make the recipe yourself. It's a, it's a wonderful holiday, holiday treat to make. It makes a nice gift because they're little small portions. You can eat two of them and you cannot feel so bad about yourself. Like you ate a whole slice of pie and you feel like, oh, I wish I would eat that. Now I'm going to get fat. Little tartlets, smaller portions, less calories. It's a win-win. Thanks for watching and God bless.